I'm here today to talk about our benefits and features of our heavy duty tight sealing gate, other words known as a sluice gate. This gate is manufactured a little bit different from the rest of our gates because it does incorporate a stainless steel guide frame, okay, made out of 304 or 316 stainless steel. And as you notice, the gate is quite thicker than their standard light duty slide gates. The gate itself is a vacuum infusion process and I'll explain that as we go along. As you notice, all the hardware is all stainless steel, okay. It incorporates a wedging design. The wedge itself is a stainless steel bar, okay, that actually pushes the gate up against the seals, okay, which seal up against the inside of the guide frame. This is a gate that is quite unique because we're, we put the seals actually on the gate, not down inside the guide frame. Makes it easy to replace, easy for maintenance to uh, take care of. The seals are out of the way and out of the junk, okay. I'm going to show you a little bit uh, how the uh, gate is manufactured and then we'll go into demonstrating actually how well the gate seals. As you can see there's no water coming in or out of the gate itself right now and the box actually is full of water. Um, this is actually a cutaway of our heavy duty sluice gate or tight sealing gate. According to AWWA allowable leakage rate for sluice gates is 0 0.10 gallons per minute whether it's seating or unseating head. If you notice we put the seals, as I mentioned earlier, on the gate itself, okay, which is easy for replacement and maintenance. Now you no longer have to go down in the hole, send somebody down there, harness them up, meet your OSHA requirements, and have them go down there and scrape and clean the seals out of the guide frame. They can actually lift the gate up, pull four bolts off the top of the head rail, bring this back to the shop, lay it down on the table, and go ahead and replace the gates. Okay? As I mentioned, the gate itself is a vacuum infusion product. What we do in this is actually made inside of a mold where we layer the fabrics down in the mold. We'll actually put a steel tubing inside of it and we use a foam to help keep it lightweight. We'll close up the mold and we'll hook a vacuum system up to it. The vacuum line's running down one side of the mold, pulling a vacuum as the resins are hooked to the other side, which is drawing the resin through the mold, totally wetting out the product altogether. If you notice, there are no seals. Um, seams anywhere on this gate. It is a totally encapsulated product. We want to protect the steel from any corrosion ever getting or starting on there whatsoever. So that's how it's made. On the opposite side over here we incorporate a wedging design. Okay, The wedge itself actually as I mentioned earlier has three quarter inch bronze bolts which actually pushes up against a UHMW wear strip on one side which is pushing on the seals to push against the guide frame on the opposite side okay, to incorporate your seal. As this gate starts to lift up out of the guide frame, it actually frees itself from the seals itself. Okay, and it almost becomes free floating inside the guide frame. So now you have no more wear and tear as the seals are sliding up inside the guide frame. It's less wear and tear on the seals. You don't have to worry about them wearing out that often. And if you ever had to do replace them, again, this will come completely out of the guide frame, lay it back on your shop table, and go ahead and replace the seals. Okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate exactly how well this seal, this gate actually seals. As you can see how well this gate actually seals, there's a wedge, one inch thick wedging seal at the bottom, seals across the bottom of the guide frame, and seals come up across the side and across the top. As you can see, there's virtually no leakage through this gate whatsoever.